So when the Jump Simulation Center was established, we had a very interesting challenge presented to us by our leaders, which was to demonstrate that we could be financially self-supporting within five years. And this challenge kind of led us in the direction of asking the question, how do we really measure the value of the education that we provide? Through a series of explorations and changes and uh, different methodologies, we settled on one we call the ROI Pyramid. And we've established a uh, training program now in collaboration with other large simulation centers across the country to teach people how to apply these uh, skills, these theories, to their own centers. Certainly not an easy process. As Paul mentioned, you know, we opened about five years ago, and this is really starting to ramp up for us, where now we have two or three programs where we've demonstrated tangible ROI. And that was even before we'd adopted this method because of the charge that we had. Now the path going forward is much clearer because we have this methodology which is based on the Phillips methodology. And uh, we're excited to be able to share our approach and how we've applied it to simulation at LMSA. So one of the things we try to do in the workshop is to make it really fun, to let people experience by practice, by simulation, by doing, doing the work, uh, but doing it in a way that's engaging, letting people have conversations with their team, uh, so we've built a serious game, and it's, it's actually a board game with cards and sorting and chance and community chess style uh, wrenches that might be thrown into your calculations. Just like the real world. Just like yes, the real yeah. world. And uh, at the end of it, at the end of the card sorting, at the end of the discussion around uh, how do you build a case to, to show your leaders that your educational intervention has value, then ending up with the math. Okay, no one likes math, but it turns out math is really important to leaders, and so we have to learn to speak their language as well. So we did a deliberate approach to think about our different stakeholders. You mentioned the leaders and the speaking to the math, but there's other people we want to engage in this process as well, from the learners understanding why they have to give us feedback on their experience, to the educators who are the boots on the ground running simulations every day, the clinical managers and administrators who are looking at the performance of those learners, and then finally up to at the institutional level. So all of those stakeholders are important when we address that. And one of the things we're most excited about is that we're doing this work in collaboration with some of the largest centers across the country, uh, from uh, Kaiser Permanente to Intermountain Health to Banner, Banner Health to the Mayo Clinic to UPMC uh, to the, New the BA yes. uh, and the New York City Hospital System and JUMP. And, and we're all working on this together. Uh, we are, we are uh, implementing these processes, again, nationally at some of these lar the largest centers in the country. So we're really thrilled at the opportunity to share, um, hopefully have some fun. So we really hope that you'll join us at IMSH uh, and learn about this platform to help us all create sustainability through demonstrating value of simulation to our institutions and I think healthcare in general. We're looking forward to it.